Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you're all doing well. I have a message on my heart to share tonight. Sometimes in our walk with God, we can be so focused on the breakthrough that we need. We can be so focused on the healing that we need. We can be so focused on the person in our family that needs to be saved or you know, a fin financial deficit or situation that we have, we can be so focused, like like a magnifying glass, so focused on our breakthrough, our miracle, our healing, on, on our answer to prayer, whether it's a spouse, whether it's a, a, an answer to this question or, you know, um, a solution to this problem, that we forget that we are already blessed, you know, guys, that we forget that we are in the hands of the living God. I want to ask you a question, my brother. I want to ask you a question, my sister. Many years ago, say seven years ago, if you have been born again that long, or last year, there was something that you were praying for. There was something that you were hoping for. It might have been a healing. It might have been a spouse. It might have been a new job. It might have been, you know, victory from an addiction. It might have been, you know, um, a salvation for this person, that person. You know, guys, this might have been many years ago. You were so focused on it, praying for it, hoping for it, believing for it. And then you got it. You know, guys, you know, guys, you, you got that. And now in the present, that person is saved. That healing has manifested. You know, you've received your spouse. You know, um, you, you, you've gotten a new job, but now you've got a new, you know, um, a new problem, a new breakthrough that you need, a new healing that you need, a new um, addiction that needs to be broken. You know, there's something that, that is consuming you, you know, that you're believing for, you know, guys, you know, guys. But let me ask you this. While you're waiting for your breakthrough, while you're, while you're waiting for your miracle, your answer to prayer, you know, while you're waiting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, I want to ask you, you know, each and every time that you get your breakthrough, you know, you know, you know, how many breakthroughs does it take for you to be okay? How many miracles does it take for you to, 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 to just be, um, you know, happy with the Lord, to be satisfied in the Lord. How many times does it take for God to do a miracle in your life? How many times does it take for God to answer your prayer, for God to save you from here, to give you a new job, to, to, to financially provide for you? You know, guys, un until you stop, until you learn to stop looking at the problem in front of you and you start looking at the God who is your savior, who is your healer, you know, who is your friend, you know, who is your Lord. The point I'm trying to make is, you know, guys, yes, we all have breakthroughs and miracles and answers to prayer, but you know, guys, when you finally get your Isaac, like Abraham was waiting for his Isaac, you know, you know, guys, just like God tested Abraham, you know, Abraham waited for his Isaac for so many years, so many years, you know, and um, when he finally got Isaac, then God told him to go and, you know, take his, take his, his son up onto the mountain and to go and sacrifice him, you know, guys, because he, that Isaac was taking all of, was taking all of Abraham's attention away from God sometimes in the same way a breakthrough you know a situation a problem can take our eyes off the Lord you know guys you know guys and you know God might test us like he tested Abraham by you know you know killing that that child that he waited for so many years you know guys I hope you can see the point I'm trying to make here is that some of you are are seeking a healing but you're not seeking the healer some of you are seeking a salvation for 
a friend, but you're not seeking the Savior. Some of you are seeking provision, but you're not seeking the provider. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, guys, it comes to a point where you just, you got to learn to be satisfied with what you have right now. You know, count your blessings. Hallelujah. Because, you know, guys, it's easy to, to count problems in a broken world and in, you know, imperfect bodies. It's, it's, it's easy to, to watch the news, you know, and, and, and watch the bad news and get all your attention and focus on the evil that's going on in the world. Well, turn off the, turn off the bad news and pick up your Bible and read the good news. Hallelujah. Jesus has defeated Satan and we are more than conquerors through Christ, hallelujah, who strengthens us. We have been given all power and authority over the enemy and God makes all things work together for those who are called according to his purpose. So in other words, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, many years ago, you were waiting on a breakthrough. You were waiting on a miracle. You got that breakthrough, that miracle many years ago. Guess what? You've got miracles and breakthroughs and things and addictions that you need to break that you're waiting on right now in the present. You know, those miracles, those breakthroughs, they will come. But don't let them take away your focus on the Savior, on the healer, on the provider. You know, hallelujah. You're waiting for provision. You're waiting for healing. You know, you're, you're waiting, you know, for chains to be broken but look to the one who who gives who gives the salvation who gives the healing who gives the provision you know who gives the breakthrough who gives the more than enough you know guys hallelujah i hope you can understand what i'm trying to say in this message tonight look to jesus your problem is not bigger than your god and in due season you will reap what you have sown at the right time, in God's timing, and in God's way, your breakthrough, your miracle, your more than enough will come to pass. But in the meantime, put your focus back on God. You know, guys, praise God, hallelujah. Never forget who we serve. We serve an amazing God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Samson, the God of Samuel, the God of David, hallelujah. You know, guys, we serve an amazing God. And I just want you to put to put your focus back on God and not on your problem. Hallelujah. Because what you're thinking about, your mind is like a magnifying glass. And, you know, guys, if you're constantly waiting for the next good thing, instead of just being satisfied with having the living God living on the inside of you, you know, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, knowing that your name is written on the Lamb's Book of Life, knowing that you are forgiven, that you are going to heaven, you know, knowing these things, being satisfied with that, you know, guys, in the world you're going to have tribulations, but be of good cheer, Jesus said, for I have overcome the world, hallelujah. Jesus loves you so much, put your focus, put your eyes back on Jesus, hallelujah. He loves you and He will keep on providing and, and taking care of you. Amen. See you guys. Bye.